Elizabeth Warren was also asked at last night's CNN Town Hall about uh, voting rights, the ability of people to actually uh, make their will heard uh, during elections. And uh, she addressed that, but she also went a little bit further. I believe we need a constitutional amendment that protects the right to vote for every American citizen and to make sure that vote gets counted. We need to put some federal muscle behind that. And we need to repeal every one of the voter suppression laws that is out there right now. And I'll tell you one more. We need to make sure that every vote counts. We can have national voting, and that means get rid of the electoral college. I think everybody ought to have to come and ask for your vote. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, well, it seems that what they think is that they like that idea. I mean, that was one of the biggest rounds of applause that I saw at that town hall and at most of the town halls that I've seen in this cycle so far. People really like that idea. And I understand, I just want to get out in front of it. Some people are going to knee jerk say, you Dems are just saying you want to get rid of the Electoral College because you just lost the election. It is, it's opportunism. That's all it is. You're just mad because you lost, and uh, you can't talk about this sort of thing near an election. That's what we're always told. It's like gun violence after a massacre. You're supposed to have some sort of buffer where presumably people would move on. So here's the thing. Uh, she's talking about it more than two years after the last presidential election, almost two years until the next presidential election. Almost to the week, this is about as far as you can possibly be from a presidential election. So. I guess by the law of you can't talk about it after the presidential election, she is free to talk about it now. And so she's talking about it and people are very receptive to that idea. And I wanna talk about honest versus dishonest arguments against this proposal. The idea that we should get rid of the electoral college and move to an actual popular vote that matters. Now, there are some people, I, look, I come from political science academia. I know that there, there are serious academics who are worried about ripple effects that might come if you were to get rid of the Electoral College. I don't necessarily agree with them, but I believe that they're being earnest when they say that this requires a lot of thought and analysis to make sure that we create what we want to create in destroying the Electoral College and not simply create new problems where they didn't exist before. But there are far, far, far more people across this country, including in political media and in elected politicians, that are not going to argue against this in that sort of earnest, concern for the future sort of way. They're going to say, Man, it looks like Democrats have been sort of screwed over by the Electoral College a couple of times in the past uh, few elections. I, I think that they just want to win. And honestly, I don't want them to win, so I'm going to oppose any reforms. Now, that might be more honest than they're willing to be. They, they often won't be that specific on what their goals are. They will identify that the Democrats want to win more, but they won't say that they like the fact that this system tends to swing in the way that benefits conservative Republican candidates. But it is fundamentally dishonest all the same, even if they won't be honest enough about their actual uh, reason for wanting to do this. And look, you can go back how far in the last three decades, how many Republicans have actually won the popular vote? I mean, look, George W. Bush did it in, uh, in his reelection bid, that's true, but you have to go back decades to find that. And so at a certain point, the concerns for what might happen if we get rid of the Electoral College, the idea that, well, that's gonna change how uh, the politicians do their, their traveling and their spending of money, which is the whole point after all. But they say that that's a serious concern, that, that that's a big problem. But look at the issue that we have right now. We, like in the most populous areas of the country, you will be completely ignored. Maybe in a primary, a politician will visit your city. Maybe they'll come to raise money, but not really care about your vote. But other than that, they go to just a couple of areas. And look, those areas are important. And the people who live in them are as important as any other Americans. As important as the same number of other Americans, I would say. And there are a lot more Americans in other parts of the country that deserve some, uh, some respect from the candidates as well, some interest from the candidates as well. Now look, she's talking there about getting rid of the Electoral College. She also, I wanna give her credit for speaking with passion and authenticity on the issues of voting rights, voting access, voter suppression, and those topics as well. Elizabeth Warren has, uh, I think, fairly well-deserved uh, reputation for speaking academically. 
like I guess I probably did when I used to teach classes. Not as an activist, not as, it's not Barack Obama, you know, like firing up a crowd. But there, she did kind of speak that way. And that says to me that this is an issue that she takes seriously, and it's an issue that deserves to be taken seriously. I think that while we're gonna have a number of different litmus tests during this primary process, this needs to be one, making sure that everyone that wants to vote can vote, that everyone who in the past hasn't wanted to vote has a reason to vote, and that their vote actually counts for something. I think that making democracy one of the biggest issues in this next presidential election is not just a good thing for the Democrats, but necessary to make sure that we actually have a democracy in practice and not just you know written down somewhere in our constitution. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.